Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're actually going to be installing those replica Mugen pedals that I got. Uh, they're right over here. So these replica Mugen pedals. So firstly, they look all right, I guess. Um, I guess the build quality on them are, are kind of crappy, I would say. But I mean, they still look decently okay. And I guess it would grip better than whatever I have in there right now. I have some old school uh, OBX pedals that were put in by the previous owner. Um, they're, they're okay, but they do look kind of crappy. And I will be keeping the, I guess, the OBX dead pedal on my set because they've drilled into it. If I take it, take it out, my dead pedal is going to have like a hole in it and I don't want to have to have a hole in it unless I can get a whole new replacement dead pedal. I prefer it to remain black, um, but honestly, since it's been drilled in, I'm just gonna have to leave it unless I find myself a new one. But for now, I'm just gonna put in this set. Um, apparently, from doing some research online you, and reading these, uh, they actually came with some, some Japanese instructions. Um, can't really read it, and it doesn't look like it has um, the EF application on here. It does show like all the other applications, um, like the EG, EK, EP3, all those kind of applications, but the EF isn't on here. But I'm hoping that it would fit. So first things first, I'm gonna have to take up, take out those old pedals, and then I'm gonna gonna pull off the rubber stock pedals, um, at least the pedal covers, and then and then try to put these in and see how they look afterwards. I'll show you guys how to take everything out and put it all back together. I know people are, have had trouble with the accelerator pedal cover, so I'm gonna see if I can attempt it and pop it off and um, they say that's the most hardest part of this whole install, so let's see if that's true. <laughs> I mean, likely it's, if it is a struggle, then I'll, I'll let you guys know, but for now, let's, let's try it out. So at first glance, this is the the stuff that comes with this set. Um, I did get it on AliExpress, so it's it's definitely fake. It's coming from China. So these are like a photocopy of the Mugen instructions. Um, the pedals themselves. I mean, you can see that the the construction is much crappier. I mean, look at the glue coming through here. Um, the authentic Mugen ones won't won't have something like that. It would be nice and gray. Came with some double-sided tape. Um, I'm guessing the smaller double-sided tape is going to be for the back of the accelerator pedal. Now the bigger one is going to be put into the uh, clutch and brake pedal. And then it comes with all this other miscellaneous hardware. Um, some of these brackets will be for the clutch and brake pedal. And then a couple of these brackets will be for the accelerator pedal. Um, on certain applications, you will require to drill and tap into your accelerator pedal. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pull it all off first and take a look and see if I need to tap and and um, screw it in. I mean, drill and screw it in. If I do, I'm probably going to leave out the accelerator pedal. It's going to look a little ugly, but um, it is what it is. I don't really feel like ruining my OEM pedals to put in some replica pedals, but this is essentially the hardware that comes with it. So the install, these instructions are pretty much crap. You have to kind of go by the picture and they're not very helpful. Um, so let's start off by removing what's already currently in my car. So these are the current pedals that are in my car. They're the OBX, I believe they're the OBX Type R ones. Um, so this will be the pedal that I'm leaving. As you can see, they, the previous owner has tapped three screws into there. Um, if I remove them, you'll visibly be able to see three of the holes, which I, I don't really want. Um, here are the other pedals. It looks like these ones are just clamped on. But as, as you can see, these are like worn off the rubber bits. So there, it's about time to kind of replace these. Gas pedal as well. Um, so I'm going to start by removing these. It looks pretty straightforward to remove these. 
as it's just a couple Phillips screws on the top and a couple on the bottom. And these screw into like a bracket at the back of it. So that kind of holds in place. And it looks like it's the same case for the um, accelerator pedal as well. So I'm gonna start by removing these and, and then I'll show you after I remove them how to remove the stock rubber, um, the rubber covers on the OEM pedals. All right guys, so I did manage to remove the OBX pedals. They were a pain in the ass. Um, these bolts on the back here, uh, they're held on with some nuts, but they've been, they're so old and rusted that as soon as I try to use a screwdriver, they just stripped right out. Um, so what I did was I got some pliers and I, I went on the back and just twisted these little clamps out and and then slid these pedals off so they were quite a pain and then if you look at and then if you look at the pedals this is the original pedals um yeah the brake pedal is a little bit worn out if i wanted to remain oem i'm gonna have to replace the the rubber piece but these come on come on and off pretty easily so all you you do is just kind of pry on the lip like so and it slides right off like that so the brake and the clutch pedal come off like this this on the other hand is a little bit more different. It's probably the one that's gonna cause the most issues. You're, you're supposed to go from the top here and pry and pull and, and it should slide off. But this is hard plastic. These are a lot um, flexible plastic. So it's these are rubber I assume and this is just hard plastic. So Next step is to just remove all these and I'll show you when I, after I'm done removing them. <sighs> all right guys, so I got off the accelerator pedal well, cover and it was super easy to do. You just gotta get yourself one of these small little screwdrivers or if you have one. Um, these are those precision screwdrivers. Um, they're for like cell phones and all that. I can't tell you how many times this thing has saved me from getting into tight spots and unscrewing little things and all that stuff. So what you would do is you basically just go from behind and you jam this onto the top and then you slide it over and then with the other hand, you would just slide this down and it comes right off. It literally took me like 10 seconds and it came right out. Um, that's the easiest way to remove your accelerator pedal um so a precision screwdriver guys just use a precision screwdriver all right guys so the new pedals are right here the mugen ones um and essentially what you're supposed to do is you take a couple of these and you stick on the back of this pedal here so at the back here you just put two of these double side tapes um the brackets are fitted for each pedal so these ones match up here um I'm assuming these black screws would be the ones that go into this hole as it fits perfectly. So what I'm gonna do is since the old pedals had such issue with being removed and all that stuff, I'm going to put a little bit of anti-seize on the end of on the back of these uh bolts so that they don't seize up over time. Um obviously it's it's pretty common that it's gonna rust and all that kind of stuff because your feet sometimes get wet um, and you're going to step on your pedals, water drizzles down, causes rust, and over time it's just going to seize. And if I ever have to remove these and they're seized, it's going to be a pain in the ass to remove. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of anti-seize on the back of it. Um, for the, the accelerator pedal, <clears throat> they, it comes with two brackets and it comes with all these screws as well. These are all um, uh, screws that are not self-tapping. So 
you don't need to use the self-tapping screws as long as you're able to fit this pedal on there without drilling. Um, from the looks of it, um, I don't think I have to drill because you could just put it on there and you could line it up. Um, it's hard to see, but it basically lines up from the bottom, these three, and the top three. So it's centered that way. And in the Japanese instructions, it does show some, some instructions about hooking up the bracket and stuff. So what you would do is just put some double-sided tape on the back of these. Um, just use up all the double-sided tape. I think there's four strips. Put them on the back. Put the bracket on the back here, and then you'll bolt it up. Um, it should just hold in. I'm going to take a look, um, try it out, and and I'll, I'll see. But before you put the double side tape on, maybe test fit it. Right now I'm test fitting it. I'm going to put the brackets on in a bit and test fit to make sure that it actually does hook onto this pedal without drilling. All right, guys. So this is how the accelerator pedal kind of goes. I fitted it with the brackets on these two and the bottom two. Um, they don't fit perfectly, but uh, I think with the sticky and, and centering it while tightening it, it should be able to to fit properly. Oh crap, so a couple of screws just fell off, but uh, I guess I, I need to screw them in a little bit more. So I'm gonna try and put these on right now and, and I'll report back and I'll show you how it looks like after I put it together. All right guys, so I've got the clutch and brake pedal on, which was pretty straightforward. You put the double-sided tape on and you center it on the back and then you tighten down the bracket. Um, this, on the other hand, doesn't fit onto the gas pedal. Um, so, without at least without drilling. So what I've done is I have put the double-sided tape on here and I'm gonna use this top bracket, but I'm gonna be re reusing these with the small little nut that came with my OBX pedals. Um, and I'm gonna use this to clamp it down. So that way I don't have to drill. Um, I can reuse this plate here, but I would probably need to create a bracket that sticks up a little bit that goes to behind the gas pedal to hold it in place. But instead of doing that, I'm just gonna reuse those L-shaped brackets. Um, you can easily just cut a piece of metal that's thicker and and use it as a bracket as well to hold in place. After all, the double-sided tape is what's actually holding in place and then this just tightens it down so it doesn't move anywhere. Um, so I'm gonna try this out and I'll show you guys what it looks like after I'm done. All right guys, so I'm done now. Um, so I had a lot of trouble installing the um, accelerator pedal. So what actually happened was that these brackets in the back didn't actually clip onto the pedal. So like it is these two holes that match the best, but you need to uh, create another, like another bracket to on the back here to hold it in place. Um, it is held on by this double-sided tape, which isn't super strong because I was, I was able to keep pulling it out and removing it and, and repositioning it. Um, it is tightened down now. It's not going anywhere. Pretty tight. Um, I mean, I I don't think that I'll have such a heavy foot where I would kick this and it would like go off center or anything, but it's centered perfectly. As you can see, they match pretty well. Um, even kind of looks like it matches that, that OBX one over there. Um, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I'm not going to remove that uh, due to the fact that it is um, self-tapped in there um, and and if I remove it you'll see the holes in the the dead pedal and I really don't want to do that I don't want to see the holes in there unless I get a new dead pedal but for now the Megan pedals look pretty good um, I'll show you the the material that I used to create that other bracket in the back so that I could hold it in place so this method actually required zero drilling um, I know a lot of people on the internet where I've seen some YouTube videos as well. They all drilled it and like I mentioned, I am not damaging my pedals, um, at least my OEM pedals, just to put on some aftermarket pedals that 
look better, uh, especially not for like replica Mugens. Um, but everything is tightened down. Um, these pedals actually don't fit that well. Like the back, um, you, you, you can feel that it is not completely flush with the pedal. Um, I'm assuming it's due to the fact that these pedals weren't actually made to fit an EF maybe. Um, well, they're universal. Uh, I don't know why it wasn't made to fit an EF. If it fits an EG, EK, you would assume that it should fit a EF, but Honestly, it did not. So this is the material that I used to uh, loop onto the back of the pedal. I, cu I cut like two pieces of this. This was originally four slots. So I cut like if you're seeing this right now, I basically cut it in half with my my rotary tool there. And then this piece was just hooked onto the top two bolts, um, and that held it to the back of the the pedal. So it held it in place. Um, I, mo I basically moved the pe bottom part of the pedal all the way up so that the bottom part of the lip is holding onto that bracket. Um, and then I used this material on the top to hold it in place. So it worked out pretty well. Um, obviously, I tried to use the old OBX pedal um, installation material, but it, it didn't work. Uh, it, it, it just has too much slots and all that kind of stuff in it, as you can see. Um, Plus they're very rusty, uh, not very good. Anyways guys, so that was the install for the replica Mugen pedals from AliExpress. The install wasn't very difficult, it was actually pretty straightforward and easy even though we got pretty crappy instructions. I think they were actually the copy of the regular instructions but I'm not really sure. They are replicas, a pretty good one aside from the quality of it. Um, yeah, so it was pretty, pretty straightforward. The most difficult part was actually just installing the accelerator pedal. Um, it's most, mostly due to the fact that we didn't have the right hardware. Um, I created my own bracket and that seems to work pretty good. Hopefully this video has helped you guys uh, in installing your replica pedals or your actual real Mugen ones. This required no drilling at all, so it maintained the, the sturdiness of your original pedals and it's just made the look a little bit different um so until next time guys um thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers